Councillor Cassis, my good friend Ignacio, welcome to Jakarta. And once again, congratulations on your National Day yesterday. It is an honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia. As I mentioned earlier, Switzerland is one of Indonesia's important economic partners in Europe. Switzerland is our largest partner in EFTA and also one of the largest European investors in Indonesia. And your visit today certainly provides more momentum to elevate our bilateral relation in a higher uh, in a greater height. Colleagues, during the meeting with Councillor Cassis, we discussed several issues. First, on trade cooperation. <coughs> Our bilateral trade managed to bounce back to US dollar 2.7 billion last year, a 38% increase from 2021. The entry into force of Indonesia EFTA CEPA since November 2021 has contributed to this positive trend. To sustain our trade growth, we identified several initiatives, including by engaging all business stakeholders to utilize Indonesia EFTA CEPA, prioritizing capacity building programs on rules of origin and SPS standard, and I ask Councillor Cassis that Indonesia would like to see the recognition of the ISPO certification to facilitate Indonesia palm oil to enter the EFTA market. Second, on investment partnership. Switzerland is Indonesia's second largest European investor in 2021. And to further boost investment partnership, I underline the importance uh, to ensure the bilateral investment treaty can be ratified within this year, because this treaty will provide legal protection and business certainty for our investors. We also would like to collaborate with Switzerland in the development of Indonesia new capital, Nusantara, especially in areas such as hospitality industries and higher education. And the effort to have the B2B engagement, the Indonesia Chamber of Commerce is also planning to organize the Indonesia EFTA Business Roadshow next year in 2024. Third, on green development, Indonesia is strongly committed to contribute in achieving sustainable development, among others by accelerating energy transition. This, in this connection, I appreciate the inclusion of Indonesia as Swiss development cooperation priority country for 2021-2024 for the fourth time in a row. This program has already funded 37 projects in the public-private sectors, including the Renewable Energy Skill Development Initiative and initiatives under the MOU on Sustainable Landscape. Onward, I hope that we can explore more initiatives through this cooperation framework to develop and support green development in Indonesia. Fourth, on ASEAN. Switzerland is ASEAN sectoral dialogue partner. We share the same views on the importance to strengthen the sectoral dialogue, including on the human resources development and promoting sustainable development in the region. I also share the priorities of Indonesia chairmanship in ASEAN. As ASEAN will celebrate its 56th anniversary next year, ASEAN must continue to play its role in maintaining peace and stability in the region and to make ASEAN matters. Peace and stability are paramount important for making Southeast Asia as an epicentrum of growth. So that is all from me. Now I would like to invite Councillor Cassis to share his remarks. Ignacio, please. Thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency, dear Minister, uh, and uh, in particular, dear Retno, for this uh, very warm invitation uh, to Indonesia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> it is uh, 
not just an honor, but a real pleasure to be here. 11 years after my first visit, I wasn't at that time member of the government, I was member of the, po the parliament, but the question was uh, at that time almost the same, free trade agreement. We were developing the first steps and uh, nowadays we can uh, discussing how to put it into action and how to uh, booster this for the next year. Your invitation to, to join uh, <coughs> Indonesia came timely. Early, earlier this year, Switzerland has adopted its uh, first ever Southeast Asia strategy. You find it on uh, the internet if you want to read it. And why you, ca you could imagine people from the media, why should a country develop a strategy? In order for our population, for your population, to know what we want to do, and to say what we do and to do what we say, and this is what we call quality. And uh, trust, in order to be consistent and coherent uh, with our politics. With uh, the strategy, the Swiss government acknowledges the rising economic and geopolitical importance of Southeast Asia. It underscores our ambition to further deepen the existing relation, including in particular with Indonesia. Our country enjoys already 72 years of diplomatic relations, and we have been partners in development cooperation for nearly 50 years. Our close development cooperation continues to these days, as <coughs> my colleague mentioned before. The minister and I discussed the current priorities, with fo which focus on reinforcing competitiveness and sustainability. Switzerland remains committed to further support Indonesia on its path. Things are looking good on the economic side as well. Switzerland is uh, among the top foreign direct investors in Indonesia. We discussed a lot about uh, how to even improve this very good figure today, how to create the best possible framework condition in order for the private sector from Switzerland to, even, to invest even more in Indonesia and uh, not just uh, here but also in the new capital. Over 150 Swiss companies are located here, creating jobs, creating prosperity, and they continue to share their innovative power to accompanying Indonesia in its economic crisis. We had the very great chance yesterday evening to celebrate our national day together with the private sector, but in particular in the presence of uh, the foreign minister of Indonesia, which is, of course, a great honor that uh, you uh, gifted us yesterday. Thank you so much. Indeed, our bilateral ties are strong and are growing further. This is demonstrated by the impressive number of bilateral agreements we have signed in the last two years. I am thinking, for, ex for example, of the CEPA agreement, a free trade agreement, between Indonesia and the EFTA states. EFTA family are four countries. I remember you with Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. <clears throat> on the, the bilateral agreements uh, on the, the promotion and protection of investments, which should also enter into force soon, I hope by the end of the years. One other agreement which is uh, for me very important is the agreement on exchange of young professionals. I think if young people from Indonesia go to Switzerland and work there and the opposite extent, we are creating the best possible ambassador for our two countries to, be, to better know uh, themselves. Madam Minister, ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia and Switzerland are geographically speaking conti uh, continents apart, but our uh, meeting has clearly shown we have more in common that, uh, than meets the eye. While Indonesia is one of the largest democracies in the world, Switzerland is one of the oldest. Naturally, therefore, promoting the values of democracy is a common project. The Bali Democracy Forum, hosted by Indonesia on a regular basis, aims to strengthen the democratic architecture in the Asia Pacific. Switzerland is grateful to Indonesia for uh, this excellent initiative, uh, and uh, it is very timely in a world that is decreasing his, uh, its democratic uh, pressure uh, on, on the countries. Um, the many wars, the many civil conflicts we have uh, in the world are telling us uh, democracy is not given by God. It, is, it must be built by a day-by-day -by -day basis, and it is a uh, long run. And uh, not 
always easy discussion. Uh, soon Indonesia will have its presidential elections. I wish you a free, fair and peaceful election. The numbers are impressive. In Switzerland we have an electorate of, pay attention, six million people. In Indonesia, you have an electorate of more than 200 million. So it's another challenge, of course, of organizing it than in Switzerland. Meanwhile, Switzerland will continue to work on deepening our ties, like the Indonesian proverb goes, uh, Padi making, ben Pagi making, Bensi making, uh, Meru duk. Uh, I don't know if I spell it correctly. I am looking forward to this growing partnership and friendship and uh, uh, I <coughs> Just uh, in, in finishing this speech, I would like to express my deepest gratitude for uh, your incredibly warm welcome for thank Switzerland you. to Indonesia. Thank you, Mari. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nasio. Thank you. Thank you.